Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So, what a massive sell off on Friday! And uh, if you look at that, that is almost 2%, and currently the futures market on the DAX is down another 0.9% uh, at the moment. So, um, finally, we're having some potential structure being formed, and uh, this is really just led by hawkish feds uh, the feds are talking about raising interest rates in two years time and the market goes into panic stations so which is fine uh, i think that's exactly what we're looking for we're looking for some kind of a pullback uh, i mean we are completely overbought at the moment on this instrument so um this channel is broken although i wouldn't get too excited about that because it could just be a wider channel as well. There's a the wider channel. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that just yet. Um, for me, we're looking for structure. And uh, this area over here is of interest for me. And that's 15.340. So let's just have a look here on the three hour. Have a look at the oscillators starting to group to the downside quite nicely. Uh, no, no diversions, I was going to say it's diversions, but that's not, that's a lower low. And uh, breaking through pretty key levels at the moment. So at the moment, there is a bit of a gap further down. So I think this 15.340 is definitely going to be an area we need to pay attention to. And I just want to have a look at where we are on the futures market right now and um, the DAX futures is down 0.85% at the moment so sitting at 15300 uh, it's a little bit below this area at the moment so anyway for me uh, if you look to the left on the three hour you can see all these tails here that's kind of be the zone where you're going to find some support and you can see it uh, coincides with the di diagonal support as well so between 15.281 and 15.340, that's kind of the area where I would expect support to be found. Now, the trick is to see if there are any the gaps. There is this gap here. Okay, and that's a daily gap. But uh, on the lower time frames is where you want to watch for those gaps. And if you look, uh, you can see there's gaps on this. There's a fairly big gap here from Friday as well. But that was a pretty strong move very strong sell-off on Friday uh, and you can see we've closed this gap now if you just keep looking to the left just have a look for the other gaps here is another gap right here and that is at 15357 so 15357 is another gap so I would expect that to close and just want to check if there's anything further down doesn't look like there's anything further down so one small gap still and that's right in the zone that we want to pay attention to okay so this is what I'm looking at 15340 to 15281 so 15300 is the area that I'm paying attention to today I would expect price to be hovering around there and see if we can find some support there so if you look at it on the 15 minute, that's kind of the structure that I would pay attention to. Trend is down, but I see some major support coming up here. And what I do want to do is just see if it's anything on the weekly. You can see there's a lot of buys that came in in this area, but it is a weekly trend line. You can see there's the bottom and it touches the next three bars. So that is the area that I'm paying attention to at the moment. If we do break through that, looking at the oscillators, then I think you have a bigger pullback on the cards. But uh, we'll have to wait and see what transpires here first. Okay, so that's kind of me at the moment, uh, just waiting to see what happens in this area. If we do start finding support, then it's well worth getting in long with a, a, a tight stop just below there. Uh, see if we can get back up to this uh, 15.550 area. Okay, so that's kind of my view at the moment. It is starting to set up uh, some structure for us, which is pretty interesting and about time as well. Anyway, uh, still wait and see, but uh, we'll have to just watch a little bit longer because I do think we're going to find some 
action over here, which is going to get some buyers, it will attract some buyers at least, and see if they can drive it. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch you later. Cheers for now.